Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great today. On our prayer request today, um, Lipstick and Sofrito's in a beauty competition for women over 40 and would like prayer that she wins. And Sharon's husband, uh, his sur surgery went well. Uh, hope that he gets better soon. Uh, Vicky's family would like an unspoken request. And Pablo passed away October 17th. Pray for his family for peace and comfort. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day today comes from Matthew 23, 23 through 33. And this is Jesus speaking. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill, and cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law justice, mercy, and faithfulness. You should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You clean, out the, you clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside also will be clean. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside you are, f inside you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Woe to the teachers of the law the and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build tombs for the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. So you testify against yourselves that you are the descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Go ahead then and complete what your ancestors started. You snakes, you brood of vipers, how will you escape being condemned to hell? Sound like he was pretty upset there. Okay. <clears throat> and the devotion today is entitled Transformed from the Inside. In the worst UK residential fire since World War II, fire engulfed the 24-story Grenfell Tower building in West London, claiming the lives of 70 people. Investigations revealed a primary reason for the flames, primary reason the flames spread so quickly was the cladding used as part of renovation that covered the building's exterior. The material was aluminum on the outside but had an extremely flammable plastic core. How was such a dangerous material allowed to be sold and installed? The product sellers failed to disclose poor fire safety test results, and buyers, drawn by the material's cheap price tag, failed to heed warning signs. The shiny cladding looked nice on the outside. Some of Jesus' harshest words were directed at religious teachers. He accused of covering corruption behind a nice-looking exterior. He said they were like whitewashed tombs, beautiful on the outside, but inside full of dead bones. Instead of pursuing justice, mercy, and faithfulness, they were focused on looking good, cleaning the outside of the cup, but not the greed and self-indulgence inside. It's easier to focus on looking good than to bring our sin and brokenness honestly before God. But a nice-looking exterior doesn't make a corrupt heart any less dangerous. God invites us to let him transform all of us from the inside. When have you tried to disguise corruption? How can you prioritize internal change? Gracious God, please help me not to hide my brokenness, but let you transform all of me. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with the different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. 
Bye, everyone, and God bless.